back with ponic update time. So I thought we'd start with feeding the fish, as you can see. They're not that scared of us anymore. They sort of rise up out of the tank like spaceships as soon as they see us hover over the top. So fire away, Captain. So they're not shy at feeding at all anymore. So they're getting probably about an eighth of a cup of food. They're floating pellets, so um, yeah, well, we're going to have to increase the pellet size soon. But I did slow down their feeding for a little while, just as I thought the um, nitrate, sorry, nit yeah, nitrate level was climbing a bit high, but yeah, all seems to be fine. Throw the rest in, sweetie. Yeah, that'll keep them happy till this afternoon. So they're feeding really well, as you can see. Um, a bit of an update on the rest of the garden. Well, beetroot has really taken off. It's really impressed with that. These guys are only mini beetroots, so they're not going to get too massive. Where's a good one to show you? There's a good one down in there. So they're not going to get massive. He's about oh, a little bit smaller than the golf ball, so he'll be coming up to harvest soon. Um, planted a fair few bits and pieces out. Uh, these are the cuttings. I've actually got a cutting clip on these guys, but I'll show you them anyway. We stuck five pepinos in here. Um, these two here don't look like they're going to make it. This one dropped all his leaves and we just noticed he's got some new branches coming. So he looks like he's a winner. And these two here, one and two, look like they're going to be a winner as well. Um, planted out a whole heap of lettuce. I was, there's another one there, another one over there. There was some in here last clip, but I was feeding up the top bed over there the other week and um, a lot of small lettuce came out. I was just getting it ready for the capsicums to go in, so I figured I might as well plant them somewhere else. This one here is booming along. Uh, the strawberries are doing really well, and our parsley is going to seed. We've never had parsley go to seed. It always starts to flower, and then the plant always rots off at the base and falls over. So if we get some Italian parsley seeds out of this, I'm going to be well happy. Um, hopefully they'll just fall into the um, clay balls, and we'll be propagating our own. The strawberries really do need to come out of here. Um, I don't know if anyone else has noticed this, but with a lot of our strawberries, now I'm not going to be able to find any, they have actually look like they're being eaten from underneath. Um, worms only eat rotting vegetation, so I don't think it's the worms. So, And we can't find any other insects in here, so if anyone has any idea, let us know. And I've just spotted this little plant here. That's a Chinese elm. That's a weed tree here. Weed tree here. So... These little suckers wreck garden beds. Uh, they just take over the whole property if you let them, if you don't mow them and pull them out. Um, anyway, that's enough of me grumbling. Over the back there, I planted another lettuce. As you can see, I've dug them down a bit. Um, this bed here, the clay, the hydrogen is actually rather high. Um, the cutoff, the standpipe only comes to here, and the clay goes about another um, 150 mil to the top, so I'm actually going to rob some of the hydrogen out of here, or aqua clay, can it, whatever, can of clay, the clay balls. I'm going to rob them from there and use it to top up this bed once we pull the strawberries out. So I don't think the parsley will be finished by then, and that capsicum's the only one that's going to be staying in, that bullshorn capsicum. So let's give you a look at this guy. He's coming on really, really well. Probably got about a dozen fruit in different various shapes and sizes on him already, so... He's growing a lot faster and a lot better than last year. So I'm actually going to try and get a really good crop of these guys. I'm going to plant another one in... Actually, well I've got mixed capsicums. There, I showed you them to you last time. Another one over there. Um, but I'm actually going to try and crop these guys and see if I can... Um, um, basically turn it into a little farming enterprise. We'll just see how we go. Um, they just... They seem to be the best capsicums we've ever grown. So I've got a whole heap a little tray over there so they're just going to go into the soil garden but yeah you'll probably see them another time um the lavender cuttings that we put in here they went really well so happy about them all three have taken one of the rosemaries has rotted out this is in here so it's looking pretty pitiful um this one's got a few little brown spots on in but these two here look like they've taken so thanks for that idea sean um more lettuce that i've just popped in where I could fit it. Oh, these little peat pots. Um, there's one over there. I don't think they actually worked as far as um, they stayed too moist in the system. And I really think the um, 
kohlrabi seed pretty much all perished. Um, so what I'm going to do is these guys I'm just going to break open and feed to the worms. Do you, you can pull that other one out down there, sweetie. Yeah. Um, it looks just, like it's turning green. Yeah, that's that's a little bit of um, algae that's forming on it. So we'll feed those guys to the worms up under the house. There's another one over the back here. A bit of maintenance while I'm going. There we go. These guys here have absolutely been flogged by the cabbage, the um, white cabbage butterfly caterpillars. Absolutely caned by them. Um, the broccoli is only there to use up nutrients for the time being until other stuff kicks in. There's a grub there, chuggies. Um, so this broccoli, he'll be coming out real soon anyway. The kohlrabi, the good thing about the kohlrabi is you can eat the leaves, we don't. We grow them pretty much all just for the bulbs down the bottom, so the caterpillars don't really hit the bulbs. So, yeah, we'll let the caterpillars have the leaves on these ones. There's pretty pointless spraying them now. We've got um, a couple of days of rain coming, so. Um, over here, we have the constant flow. Um, this one is the constant flow bed. Always has water running through it. Uh, the idea was that was, for that was for the water chestnuts. They seem to be enjoying it. But I thought I'd try um, strawberry. This little strawberry actually only had, um, I think he only had one or two. Those leaves are really tiny when he came in here and all the others had rotted off. So a lot of the strawberries in a few different places, there's some over there, um, in this larger bed are just starting to die off. So I figured I'll try and rescue him and I put him in the constant flow here about not long after or just before the last clip I did, so two weeks-ish. So he's actually um, doing rather well. And these lettuce seem to have perked up rather nicely as well, so I'm very happy with that. Some more of these bull's horns. Actually, there's probably more than a dozen on here looking at that. A strawberry that's ready. Hmm. The only other thing going on with the aquaponics at the moment is I'm getting electricity down here. Um, had a bit of a deluge of rain last night, but we've also been damming this off in sections because we've got nice, solid, heavy clay all down the bottom. Oh, we also had... A little foundation, I lay a um, foundation, it's probably from the old farmhouse in the area and some very old rusted broken water pipes down there as well, so they all um, came out. Um, so it's been very hard digging and I managed to um, injure myself rather nicely, so I'm not allowed to dig for the next couple of days. There was some glass in the sidewall uh, from the landfill they've used here and I reached down to pull out a brick or a piece of clay and I rather badly sliced my finger right above the little fingernail so I'm supposed to be resting it. Anyway, so this trench has got to be 600 mil or two foot deep and it's going to go under here and into the cabinet and the spark is coming out to wire that up as soon as this is done. So up the other end we've come into a, run into a little bit of a problem we have the old clay sewer main, so one's a stormwater, um, that one got broken. It's funny, I broke it and I was packing it, thinking I've done something really, really bad, and the whole thing is just chockers with roots, so there's no way that was being used for stormwater. Uh, I spoke to the plumber about that and he said all these pipes were disconnected years ago. That large sewer main there, as you can see, I've hit it with the jackhammer a bit. Luckily I didn't break it, I spoke to the plumber. And he said, you, you just leave them in place. You don't really want to be um, opening up that can of worms. There'd be all the diseases and pathogens left in there from um, when it was a sewer main. So he just told me to dig underneath it so the sparky can put it underneath. It's about to start raining again. Yeah, so up here, as you can see, is clay. These are the tools I've been using to dig the trench. And it's been a lot of hard yakka. Well, actually, no, that's not really the tools. They're kiras, but... Um, I've been using a mattock and a um, trench shovel and my father brought over a post hole shovel as well, a, um, one of the scissor ones. But when the plumber came out to do some work the other day, he took pity on me and left me his kanga. So it took me two hours to dig a hole down to 500 mil there, or just over a foot and a half, and probably about 60 centimetres long, um, two foot long took me about two three hours to dig that the other day through that solid clay because this is under the house it's nice and dry and rock hard but then the plumber came and I dug from there down to these pipes in under three hours so that can go just ate through that clay and as you can see took it out in nice nice little chunks so 
most impressed so i've got to give that back to the plumber today but very thankful for that it was a very friendly thing to do so thanks dean um gas spark sip switch <coughs> um yeah so very happy with that um hopefully we'll have everything up and running oh the only other little bit of news is yeah, i have a car battery i have the clips to go on it i have the relay switch i have the pump i've got the air stones i've got the line all i need now is a um, phone um, mobile phone charger or some little um, 8 or 12 volt adapter and yeah i'll have a backup air system so um, because i'm not supposed to be doing anything i'm going to work on that today so just don't tell Bianca. So that's pretty much for it for the aquaponics update. Um, yeah, another two weeks I'll do another one, so I'm fairly chuffed with the way things are going. I've got the itch though, I really feel like that it's going so well, knock on wood, um, that I'd like to expand. But the only place we can really expand is out the front. And some silly bugger set up three wicking beds there, so we'll just have to see what happens there. Um, yeah, we might. We might go down this way and take out that bed next year and move the strawberries and put a couple of grow beds there and a fish tank up here. We'll just see what happens. So, Anyway, I'll stop rambling and dreaming and hope you enjoyed the update. Any questions, comments, suggestions, leave them in the comments section below and I'll get back to you. So have a good one and catch you later. Kira is consorting with the enemy. She's <laughs> trying to feed a cabbage caterpillar. Don't, don't do that. No, bad.